Welcome back to Dimebag Darren World Headquarters in the corner of my living room. We're going to go through some coins in a new way. I'm going to try to go through them in little batches. We're going to go five rolls at a time through a box of quarters and see what we end up with. And I'm going to try to edit my way there so that I end up with a short in the end. We'll see how that goes. But thanks for tuning in to Dimebag. We're going to go through five rolls of quarters real fast. All right, what do we have here? It is a 2002 men's hockey, but no paint. Aww. Vancouver 2010, beautiful bobsled coin commemorating the Jamaican bobsled team on their run down the slopes. No, it's not. Don't be silly. All right, so out of rule number one, we got these two commemoratives, and that's it. Not that great of an, out of a single roll, so let's see what's next. From the 2000 collection, Family. Another beautiful Canadian quarter. Coming out of those rolls. And right away, we get another Canadian bobsled Vancouver 2010 Olympic commemorative quarter. Oh, yes, and look at here. We get another one right away. It's a Saskatchewan. If you got a quarter book for me, then this one's in it, and I bet you it looks better than this one. Because <laughs> this one's a little beat up. Looks like a 2005 Saskatchewan. That's what you get. They've been out there a while, you know. All right, let's take a look. We're going to find another one right away. Right away. 2017 celebrating Lord Stanley's Stanley Cup, which is the prize for the National Hockey League that covers Canada and North America. We all play for the Stanley Cup. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. Oh, she's the tall ship. Liking that one from 2004. This one's got a little bit of the war on her, sure. But nice looking coin nonetheless. Whenever we're looking through quarters, we're looking for exactly this. This is the queen with the king crown. Good so far. Then we look down by her, the nape of her neck. Is there any dates? No dates. Good so far. Then we take that coin and we flip it over and we hope for what? 1991. And so that's what a 1990 looks. The 91 looks exactly the same. It's just super low mintage. That's what it's all about. So now we're back to looking through these quarters, seeing what we get. No idea what will come next, but we've got six out of this roll. So that's quite the better roll than roll number one. And that is all we get from roll number two, six. All right, so, so far we've made it through two rolls. Roll number one gave us two. <laughs> roll number two gave us six. Let's see what's next.
This tune will keep you working. Ooh, what do we have here? That'll be one. Ooh, a nice one, too. We'll let the exposure figure out how bright this coin is. Newfoundland. Terra no, Nouveau. Nouveau? Nouv Terra Nouv? It's en français. Damn it. I'm not good at français. But I do like Newfoundland, and that'll be our first coin from roll number three. We got another one, 25 cent. And this dude's a freestyle skier, I would have to say, because... They're not in a good position if they are not a freestyle skier. Because, what is this? If you're not a freestyle skier and you end up in that position, I think you're in huge trouble. What, what do you think? Probably not good. Shot. Placing shot. Beautiful job of that. Oh, yes. Let's spin that the right way so we can get a view of Saskatchewan. As soon as I settle it in there. That one's been through the wars, I'm afraid. Got it. Orient that 25 cent in the right direction, and then you know which way the skier's going. That's kind of the only way to tell, <laughs> surprisingly enough. So we have the downhill skier. Oh, I dropped it. Look at that one. We got the whales. Let's take a look. I just realized I'm doing this the hard way. Well, I'm not doing it the easiest way. Let's put it that way. As my other hand starts to go numb, which is par for the course, unfortunately, I got a plan. We're going to change this up just a little bit. Go back to there and... Vancouver 2010, and once again, what do we have here? It looks like a speed skater to me. Once again, not a perfect example. Of course, it's been out there, but 2010, Vancouver and Biathlon. From the 2017 set that comes as a painted and an unpainted version, the 2017 commemorative quarter. Unpainted version. So far we're getting up there. Two from the first, six from the second, and eight from the third. Don't know if we need that one for our set, but we will definitely check. And in rule number four, one American quarter. That is all there was. 
So it looks like we're making up for how fortunate we were in roll number three. And right away we pull December 1999. Anything from the 1999 series is hard enough to find. 99 series, 2000 series, and especially the 92 series. This is a nice one. It really is. Unless it's all hacked up on this side, which it definitely is not. That could very well be a keeper right there. Pretty good example of what can come. You just have to look through every darn roll. But I'd say that was a good one. We have another freedom, freedom fraction of a dollar. Oh, this time we got Arizona. From 2008. We'll have to see if that fits in our book. It may, may not. This time it's a beautiful December 1999. Same as before. <laughs> nice though, very nice. So, wow, really? All right, and there it is. Five rolls, two, six, eight, four, and zippity doodahs. What we got, not a single painted coin in the group. Let's get a little closer in there together. A men's hockey, a bobsled. A lot of uh, Olympics. We got the whales. We had a, get a couple of an American quarters. We're going to check those against our books to see if there's anything there worth keeping. But I don't know, man. That's five. We're up, we're down, we're done. I hope you found that worthwhile. Thank you for tuning in to Dimebag Darren World Headquarters in the corner of my living room. Have a great day. Bye for now.